a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Brothers and sisters, and the patriarchs, jealous of Joseph, sold him into slavery in Egypt. But God was with him and rescued him from all his afflictions. He granted him favor and wisdom before Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, who put him in charge of Egypt and of his entire household. Then a famine and great affliction struck all Egypt and Canaan, Canaan and our ancestors could find no food. But when Jacob heard that there was grain in Egypt, he sent our ancestors there a first time. The second time, Joseph made himself known to his brothers, and Joseph's family became known to Pharaoh. Then Joseph sent for his father Jacob, inviting him and his whole clan, 75 persons, and Joseph went down to Egypt. And he and our ancestors died and were brought back to Shechem and placed in the tomb that Abraham had purchased for a sum of money from the sons of Hamor at Shechem. From the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John, who proclaimed life to the world, let us listen to the proclamation of life and salvation for our souls. The Lord Jesus says, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish, because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. So you also are now in anguish, but I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. This is the truth. Peace be with you. In our first reading, we hear Peter's sermon about how God heard the prayer of Joseph about how God was faithful to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. In the gospel, Jesus promises that he will be faithful to us, that the Father will be faithful because of the Son, and that if we ask anything, it will be given us. Now, we also read in the scriptures that we ask, but we do not receive because we ask wrongly. We ask not in the name of the Lord, but in our own name. We ask because of our passions. Rather, we should ask for the Holy Spirit. We should ask for God himself that which is beyond and above anything in created nature. And God will give us himself. We will be full of the Spirit. We will have a joy which no one can take away because it is given to us not by this world, but a joy given to us by God. 